Hello friends, a very tasty and spicy masala bread is what we are making today. This recipe can be used both for gluten free flour or for plain flour. For making this we need 450 gram plain flour or gluten free flour, 350 ml lukewarm water, 1 tablespoon dry active yeast, 2 tablespoon sugar, 1.5 teaspoon salt, 4 tablespoon olive oil and 1 third cup milk or water whichever you like. Now for this I am taking diced mixed vegetables which are a little bit sturdy and which do not leave much water. I have used carrots, capsicum, broccoli and coriander leaves in abundance. The amount of coriander leaves should be a little high. We will bloom the yeast first, add sugar and lukewarm water to it, mix it well and keep this aside. Into the plain flour we will add salt, mix well and after a few minutes when the yeast has bloomed we will add that and all of the water. Add olive oil also. Olive oil gives it a very distinct unique flavor. You may add any other oil of your choice as well. Now as this consistency of this has to be a little watery of the dough. So I am adding one third cup of milk. You may substitute this milk with plain water, lukewarm water so that this bread is egg free and lactose free as well. Wet your hands now and mix it well so that there are no lumps. Keep checking for any lumps in the dough. Cover with a cling film and keep it to rise. For the first rice, let's keep it for 45 minutes. Now that it has risen, again wet your hands and mix all the vegetables which we have taken in one go and mix them thoroughly into the loose dough. The vegetables should be evenly distributed in the dough. Now after this, after it has mixed well, keep it again to rise for another 35 to 40 minutes. Now you see how much the dough has risen. Now take a oven plate or a crusty plate or any flat plate onto which you can put this dough, flatten it on the, um, smear it, smear it with a very uh, thick layer of oil and now I am making the masala, these ingredients I have not shown in the video, I forgot to show it in the beginning, I have taken 3 diced, 3 crushed garlic, big garlic cloves and I am adding enough oil into it and as per your taste enough chili powder, chili flakes also you can add and salt and spread it all over the bread and push them down also with your fingers so that the masala seeps into the bread. Now this is what gives it the distinct taste. You may add pepper powder, basil leaves or rosemary or any other dry seasoning as per your liking. And you can experiment. There is a lot of experiment which can be done with this masala bread. Now place it in the oven at 200 degrees C for 30 minutes. And this is how it has turned out. Underneath also it is very well cooked and the sides are also so well cooked and it is crunchy on the top. 
so this is an out of the world tasting bread which all of you must try and do comment and share your experience after making this such an easy bread now since i had left it for the third rice i had left it for too long it has um not risen that much it had risen but then it fell fell back a little so for the third rising keep it only for 15 to 20 minutes in the crusty plate and now you can serve it this to your family who would love it and appreciate it thank you and please do share and subscribe to gluten free india and share this video thank you